you got to support yourself. Folks are saying on the left and the right, this isn't pizza. Yeah, that's what they're saying, but uh, they haven't had this pizza, so, you know. We, uh, you that's your strongest have... argument? <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's, it's good pizza, you know, and... Uh, they I, come I, from Chicago. They know I how do. to do pizza, right? They do, and I think, you know, you have to consider that uh, New Yorkers kind of have, like, almost uh, an inferiority complex, you know. They, uh, we have Michael Jordan. They have uh, Patrick Ewing, <laughs> you know, so... Listen, when you, you have... Folks like uh, Supreme Court Justice Scalia and John Stewart, you gotta love though this kind of attention. You know, it, it's like you know we were saying earlier. There's no such thing as bad attention, but you know I think you have to kind of take a step back and uh, you know you look at someone like uh, you know Supreme Court Justice Scalia coming out and saying something like this. I think it's really just him, um, you know, maybe undermining Barack Obama. You know, President Obama is from Chicago. You know, this is kind of like a passive aggressive way. It, it just uh, you know really Politics kind of. Politics at play. It, for sure. Emmett, how did you go from being someone who, when you were younger, delivering pizza, you also caddied, um, I think from Mike Dicka, I read. That's right. Some interesting stuff, um, delivered pizzas to John Hughes. So how did you go from that to doing this? Well, uh, Your own pizza place. I, I love pizza. And uh, when I got to school, I went to school here in New York. And when I got here, they, they didn't have deepest pizza, which I thought was crazy. You know, you walk around New York, you can, you know, eat foods from all these countries that I've never even heard of. And then, you know, in Chicago, everyone eats this stuff. And I think a lot of New Yorkers have this complex where they think uh, if you're living in Chicago, you know, you're camping or on some farm. But, you know, Chicago's a real city, and uh, this is real pizza. What's interesting is, you know, restaurants open all the time in New York, and a lot of them fail. How did you know that this was kind of the right place in New York and the right time to do it? I mean, you should try the pizza. Okay. <laughs> is it that easy? But you, and you worked on the recipe, right? I did, yeah. I mean, I, I will say that uh, I've never really worked in a restaurant before, so it was... Um, you actually did, had a job in finance, didn't you, at one point? Yes, yeah. yeah. And th there wasn't a lot of correlation. So, um, so you know, getting the restaurant open was, uh, you know, there were some speed bumps, but, um, you know, like they say, anything worth having is worth fighting for. So, um, you know, I, the, the bet was really on the pizza, and uh, people were responding pretty well to it. You're feeling like if you have a good pizza, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Just a couple, you know, simple ingredients with the place, you know. What's your advice to somebody, though, who's thinking about, you know, starting a business or something? I mean, is it all timing and... I, I, I think, you know, the important thing is, is if you're doing something that you like, it's, it's, it's fun, you know. And for me, I think a lot of people, you know, said, okay, what the hell are you doing? You know, why, why are you, you know, maybe leaving your job in finance or whatever. But, you know, right. this is what makes me happy, and I think that's why it's been successful. You've got some lines, I hear, at uh, your place. That's right. That's People right. lining up for pizza. And it takes a while, right, to order early. It does. It does. So, you know, we, the thing is we're getting a lot of people showing up at, at like, the peak dinner time. So, yeah. you know, at that time, it's, it's quite a line.